Kirsten, if you have not been, there's a great restaurant down on Mill Avenue in Tempe called uh, Monty's La Casa Vieja. Vieja. It's been in the family for 50 years and a restaurant for over 100 years. This is Michael, Monty, good to see you. And we got G over here. And uh, welcome to both of you. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. It's great to have you. Great, great. You're known for steaks, right? Absolutely. Steak and potatoes for 50 years. We're a traditional place, mm -hmm. sort of steak for the people, families, kids. But, you know, even an old dog's got to learn new tricks <laughs> once in a while. All right. And what are some of those new tricks? Well, one of the things we decided to do is we plucked some fresh talent out of uh, East Coast Culinary School here. We have the mighty Gerald Allen, who's our new Excellent. food and beverage Wonderful. director. He does look mighty. <laughs> and he's, um, he's bringing out what we're going to do for you today are some specials, uh, the steak specials for tonight, some of the stuff that you might see if we catered a meal for mm -hmm. you where we're more free to depart from the menu. But what he's going to do, you'll see tonight. And, uh, right. gee, uh, why don't you start uh, telling us about what you have? All right. Well, I have right here some microgreens. I'm going to prepare a Dungeness crab salad. Mm, okay, so we have some Dungeness good. crab right here. All right. Some uh, microgreens. We also have some spinach I'm going to add to that. Uh, some Belgian endive. And we're going to add some of our vegetables in there as well. All right. Some carrots, baby carrots that I've already mm -hmm. cooked off. Most of these vegetables I cooked on the flat top already. You okay. kind of sear them off to get some color on them. Add this some. time of year, salads are, are preferable when it's so hot. Yeah, absolutely, especially sure. ones that look so colorful like that. I know, yeah. with all yeah. those different colored tomatoes. Turn some nice herbs, here. some haricot verde green beans. And we got a, a mixed mushrooms here. It's got mo morel, chanterelles, oh, uh, delicious. shiitakes, and some cremini's as well. We're going to add our asparagus. We also have some uh, pancetta here. We cook fresh. Oh, lovely. That's what you call high-end Italian bacon. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and uh, some of the Parmesan cheese. We're going to add some of our shallots at this point. I can tell you one thing. These citronella candles don't do a very good job of keeping <laughs> the flies away. I know. Away. But you who know? can blame them? I mean, yeah. this all looks so I know. lovely. I guess if and I just... were a fly, I'd be here, too. <laughs> yeah, we, we're, in a, we're in a beautiful spring garden, and normally our meals don't come with right. them this quantity of flies. But. We're going to start our vinaigrette with a little bit of Dijon mustard. He's not amused. <laughs> <laughs> He's focusing, focusing on this beautiful meal. Some shallots that uh, we chop fresh in the restaurant. Uh, we got a little bit of sherry vinegar here, mm. which is very good with this salad. I love it a lot. Just put a little bit of that in there, right. and then we got Gives the it that nice tang, huh? Fresh, first press uh, extra virgin olive oil. It makes the salad taste extra special. Since we have Italian roots at Monty's, we like to use a lot of Italian ingredients, such as uh, the mushrooms, the pacinis, and the uh, truffles, and right olive on. oil. Way to stroke the boss. <laughs> <laughs> but it is true. So we're going to throw our mixture in here with the rest of our dressing. Preserving some. Just going to give that a nice little toss. Here. Now, Michael, are the, are the little Monty's around so we can carry on the name, family name yeah, for years to come? Absolutely, I do. I've got kids and uh, I've got a lot of uh, nephews and nieces. It's a big family. Yeah, and, uh, We're going to plate this up here on this right. nice rectangular plate. That looks terrific. Yeah. And that's something you can whip up quick yeah, at home. Yeah, that looks this great. This is a quick, quick spring salad. You know, if you got some people coming over to entertain, we, I love serving spring food like this. Can you talk about what else you have yeah. out here? We also have uh, our smoked tenderloin appetizer, just uh, beef tenderloin. We pound it out real thin, uh, sear it on the outside, and we smoke, cold smoke it. Finish it with a little extra virgin olive oil. Right here, we have our uh, surf and turf, oh. which is pan-roasted halibut, hairy colbert green beans. It's got... Um, some of the wild mushrooms, again, the chanterelles, the morels, and the uh, creminis in there with a piece of seared halibut on the top, port wine reduction. We also have here, which is the turf side, is the filet with the uh, truffle mayonnaise. We take truffle oil and egg yolks and emulsify it together, adding air, incorporating air. Michael's going to top the filet off of that right now. Try not to shoot a jet of it all Gosh, over I thought you were going to put whipped cream on there. <laughs> How we see whipped cream in these things? <laughs> you a Curly Larry and Moe. Yeah, that looks stuff. excellent. So that's 
Terrific. There's the uh, hotline, by the way, if you'd like any information on anything you've seen today. Mill Avenue. Mm -hmm. Take your husband husband down there. Okay. And enjoy. Nice we'll head on down. Looking forward to that. This looks fantastic. Nice to meet you, Jay. Thank you for having us.